there's many different reasons why you can have chronic alcalgia. Either your partner got pissed off at you and then punched you in there or you were playing sports. But a majority of the pain down in the testicles and groins does resolve on its own. Mm -hmm. But there's a certain subset of, um, of patients that suffer chronic alcalgia, which is basically um, pain that lasts more than three months and is essentially significantly affecting their lifestyle. Okay. And there could be many causes to it. There could be an anatomic causes, physiologic causes, but a majority of it is idiopathic. We don't really understand why, and we've done several studies on them, and we published on this, and you know, we found that there are some nerves, um, that there's a reproducible pattern of nerves, and there's also a difference in nerves um, in terms of its pathological findings and pathological changes between those that have chronic alcalgia and those that don't. So interesting. So you can just wake up one morning and your balls start hurting, and then they just they just don't stop. We do hear that sometimes. Yes, um, and sometimes there is uh, and something that they did. Like uh, there are certain patients that have had vasectomies that can have post vasectomy pain. Okay. They need the right mesh hernia repairs okay. uh, that can then lead to some irritation of the nerves and pain. Sometimes it's referred pain. It's not even testicular, really. We have we actually. Uh, this is rare, but we found some guys, we've done imaging, and they end up having kidney stones. And there's a stone lodged in there that could be causing it. There's a lot of different causes, right. but uh, by the time we see them, they've kind of been through all that stuff already. I